headed to Philly. Excuse my hair. It was a hair day today and I um, ran out of time or well, I decided to stop. I'll put it that way because I know the last time. <laughs> It seemed like every time my hair day is the day that I have to run to Philly and get my mom in love. But, um, yeah, so I'm on my way to pick up my mother in love. And um, I just thought I would pop in to say hello. My mother commissioned me to make a chocolate cake for my sister. I wish she would have told me earlier. I didn't really have the foresight to um, do it earlier, I wish I would have. But we were going out, you know, treating her to the play, treating her to lunch and stuff. So my mind wasn't on actually making her a cake. But we are a family that believes a birthday isn't a birthday unless you have a cake and some balloons. So I'm gonna go ahead because the party don't stop. Okay, the party is going on all week. So um, I'm gonna deliver the cake to her tomorrow um unfortunately i'll be back in philly tomorrow because my niece my niece's mother passed so um i'm going to you know come and go i'm going to go and show my support and things so i'll be dropping off the cake to um my mother and then i'll probably make a pound cake for her and the family so I'm going to be making two cakes today and yeah so I am going to just hopefully bring you along with like the baking and the cleaning of them it's just a never ending cycle like I shared before it's always something but that is the game of life that's what you call life and I thank God you know for the ups and the downs so yeah guys so I'm on my way to Philly and I will pop back in. And like I said, excuse the hair. And then tomorrow I have, um, I'm going to film my Costco. Costco, BJ's, and maybe Sam's. Y'all pray I have the energy to go drive up to Sam's. Because I am getting some items shipped. But some things, now if I go, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase everything that I have on my list. But if I don't go, I'm gonna order online first and then go when I feel like it to get the actual items that I wanna pick up. So yeah, so I'm gonna do Costco's, I think BJ's, and I believe Sam's, if I'm feeling energetic like I am now. So we'll see. I'm gonna drink me some oolong tea and see if I have the energy to make the trek up to the Sam's location in Dover. So I will talk to you guys later. All right. Hey, hey everyone. So y'all see I'm, I have my gear on. I'll explain that in a few seconds, but first let me just say, welcome back to the channel. If you're returning, if you are a first timer here, welcome. Welcome to Comfort and Joy with Lady Curry. Um, let me introduce myself for those who may be new. I did notice that I have some new subscribers. Thank you so much. And welcome to the Comfort and Joy family. I'm so glad that you're here. So my family, if you have not done so, scroll through the archives of my video. My um, channel is about lifestyle, organization, decorating, mommyhood, womanhood, sisterhood, uh, Christianity, relationship with the Lord, all of that. So um, if that's something that will interest you, then please hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. For the new subscribers, thank you so much and welcome to the family. I hope and pray that my channel will influence you, motivate you, and inspire you to continue to strive because that's all we are, are just imperfect people learning along the way learning and going along the way trying to get stronger and better every day that's all we can really ask for of one another if we could just grow a little bit every day so um that's all that's all it is we we're all human and we're all in this thing called life together and i'm here to encourage you 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 and you how about that so okay let me tell you what's about to happen so i am in my car 
and I am on my way to Sam's. So yes, um, I have my gear on. Um, you know, it just seems like we cannot get it right. We are allowing the numbers to go up. So we're going backwards. We're moving backwards. So I'm really, and I will say um, shame on me and woe to me because I did slack up on my tactical and strategic plan. Like when I go out and go shopping and things I used to do. And some people may think it's a little extreme or whatever, but I'm trying to keep my family as safe as possible. So I started like, okay, let me get back into my routine when I went shopping and start really being mindful, making sure I wipe everything down, even before I bring it in, things of that nature. So I just won't carry anything in. Clothes that may have been contaminated, I'm going to derobe in my laundry room and switch out to some clean clothes. So I, I used to do that really, really methodically and, um, and habitually. And then I kind of slacked off. I started getting lazy. I started letting the bar go down. And um, so now I'm going to start back because winter, fall and winter is here. It's coming. It's really fast approaching. And I just want to make sure on top of everything else, like on top of a general cold, on top of a flu, if this hits you, It'll make those things much, more, much worse. And um, you will be more susceptible to things. So I'm just trying to keep our immunity up and um, our barriers where it's going to have to work hard to get to us because we're doing what we're supposed to do. But anyway, I said all that to say, I'm on my way to Sam's. I have my hat on. I got my hair tied back. And so I have, you know, just no fuss I'm going with the, just the bare essentials. Normally, I wouldn't even go with a pocketbook, but this bag is small, so it's smaller. Um, so I'm not going to just carry my phone case. I'm, you know, have that on my underneath my shoulder. It, it uh, hangs close to my um, armpit, so it's really a um, a low or high hanging bag. So it's not going to drag around and things of that nature so it'll be close to my body but yeah ladies and gents i am on my way out and i will give you my hauls when i finish them all i don't know if i'm going to get them all done today but i'm gonna get as much as i can done today all right let's roll Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. I am back from my Sam's haul. And... I did not get any fresh produce. So that means that is an Aldi's haul for me. So I'm gonna have to run to um, Aldi and get my fresh produce. Um, I also need to run to Costco for my salmon and butter. Uh, what else? Salmon, butter, I normally get <clears throat> chicken stock, but I did pick up some chicken stock from Sam's. What else? Uh, paper towels. I do want to get a pack of paper towels if they have them because I didn't want to try Sam's paper towels. If it's if anyone knows the quality of Sam's paper towels, let me know. The members Mark brand. Let me know because I'm a believer of Costco but I have never tried, I don't think, I don't think I've tried Sam's, the members mark brand. So, um, yeah, with that, I wanted to just make sure I spent my money wisely. This is gonna be, um, I mean, you, you can always use paper towels for whatever, they're just paper towels, but you know how we are, we have our, certain types of paper towels normally it was like bounty for me but um then when i learned of costco 
and their uh, Kirkland, oh, something just slid. Their Kirkland brand, I was a believer. So yeah, so when I get in, I will show you all the hauls that I have done thus far, and then we'll pick up with the next haul. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off with my Sam's Club haul. So I'm gonna work from left to right and let's get going. So I did pick up a um, pack, a six pack of their chicken broth. I picked up Da Vinci um, Gourmet Caramel Syrup, it's sugar free. I picked up Da Vinci French Vanilla uh, syrup for your coffee or um, if you make fresh homemade whipped cream or anything you can go in if you want a flavor give a dessert some type of flavor I also picked up another another container of the coffee mate creamer non-dairy creamer I saw these tart cherries they are um, Michigan cherries dried sweet and, and they look so good and I love cherries and I love popping them in my oatmeal because the fall is coming I know I'll be wanting dried fruits such as raisins dates cherries and such in my oatmeal so I picked up a bag of those I picked up these probiotic immune snack packs they are individually packaged, and these are great to keep in the car, in your bags, in your little knapsacks, things of that nature when you need a quick snack when you're really hungry. I also picked up this pack of um, powdered donuts. It's a pack of 12. I picked up the Hubby's Raisin Brand Crunch. I picked up my, they had pumpkin spice Cheerios and cinnamon, so it's a two pack, and you get a box of each. So I grabbed those, couldn't help it. I also picked up a box of the 30 um, bags of Sun Chips, and they are the variety. I also picked up a 30 count box of Lay's Mix, different flavors of chips. And then I picked up a 46 singles pack of Takis Fuego. So the little lady loves these. Over here, I picked up um, some Hershey's brownie mix. You get four packs in here. I also picked up some old fashioned oats for back stock. I picked up um, the Members Mark buttermilk pancake. They didn't have Aunt Jemima or Mima pancake mix, but I was told by someone that this it's probably the same brand just packaged differently because it tastes just the same that's what i was told so i believe this is my second or third bag that i um, picked up so far i have some down in my um mid to long term storage area so yes so then let's start with the floor over here i picked up game uh, laundry detergent they didn't have my fabric softener so i just went ahead and got the suavitel advance i do love suavitel especially when i was younger we used to use this too but i forgot how much how good it smells then i also picked up a three pack of the clorox bleach and i picked up one for my mom as well and then i picked up a 48 count deer park the minis and then a 40 pack of the um, 0.5 liter uh, water bottles. And then from here, let's start in the back. I picked up the Members Mark 240, I'm sorry, 204 plates, the um, ultra paper bowls, 150 counts. Then I picked up a this is uh, 12 pounds, yeah, 12 pounds of the gold metal flour, all-purpose flour. I also picked up a two-pack of the nine-stick genuine vegetable parchment paper. I picked up a three-pack of Bertoli marinara sauce, two packs of, um, a two-pack of A1 original sauce, a two pack of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Y'all know what it is. Every time I see them, I get them. 
So I picked up a five pack of the Clorox wipes. I picked up a um, two pack of instant dry yeast because I'm going to be baking a lot and um, bread is going to be one of them that I hone my skills in. I picked up a six count uh, pack of chicken breast, the member's mark, two pack of Smucker's strawberry jam. I picked up a three pack of the pledge lemon uh, flavor or lemon scent. A three pack of the Lysol. Again, when I see them, I grab them. And I also picked up this big refill of Windex and then it comes with a bottle, a spray bottle as well. So I picked that up as well. And then I also picked up the um, Pearl Milling Company. This was formerly Aunt Jemima. So it was formerly known as um, Aunt Jemima, so it's the same, same product. Just they, you know, they changed the name. Being politically correct now, so um, they changed the name. And then I also picked up this OxyClean. So I think that is it. Oh, I also picked up a bag of waffle fries. I may insert a picture here. Um, it's in a freezer because it was defrosting at a rapid pace. So I just threw it in the freezer as soon as I. Um, got into my garage. I didn't even bother unpacking my car yet. I just grabbed that, threw it in the freezer because it was getting too too soft and I wanted to make sure. But I'll insert a picture. Okay, guys. So now I am... Let me put this down. Alright, now I am on my way to Aldi. And... I may do Costco. I don't know. I'm so tired. I may do Costco. I'm just um, tired today. But yeah, I just have to get some produce in my house. I have to get produce in my house. So we'll see. Well, one thing's for sure. I'm on my way to Aldi. So that's next. Okay, guys, this is my Aldi's haul. Hey, everyone. So, unfortunately, those short five seconds, three or five seconds of my Aldi's haul was just that. I don't know what happened to the footage or I can't remember if I actually shot the footage and maybe um, I deleted it by accident, but I did not. Um, I could not retrieve the um, Aldi's haul footage. So I'm sitting here, it's a day later, and when, um, when I went to edit my information, I'm like, oh Lord, my Aldi's haul is missing. But y'all saw the, you know, short three seconds. Um, and I actually don't even have a receipt. I, ha I would have to pull it off. I think I chose email. So anyway, it was my usuals. Um, I bought some spinach, some spring mix, two um, containers of strawberries, lemons, a sack of lemons, a sack of limes, a fresh pineapple, some red seedless grapes, a three pack of green bell peppers, um, I think that is it. I want to say that's it. I believe that's it. Um, oh, cucumbers. I did get a sack of cucumbers. I didn't get carrots. But yeah, so I believe that was all that I um, picked up at all these. But again, I apologize for the mishap. Sometimes, um, I don't know, this technology just can be cruel. <laughs> so I don't know what happened to my footage. I just, I can't believe that. It's missing. It's gone. This is the very first time that that's happened to me. I, maybe once before I deleted it, but I believe I reshot it. But I'm not doing all that. I'm just sorry. I um, broke down some of my produce already and put it away. Some has already been um, tapped into and eaten and things. So, um, oh, some kiwis. I did get my um, Zespri um, Sun Gold kiwis as well. I picked those up too. 
So that's about it. For price sake, I would have liked to given you the full Aldi's haul to give you your prices for those who are, you know, kind of keeping up with uh, how the prices are surging and where, you know, the inflation on food is going up. For that purpose, I would have loved to given you a full on haul from Aldi's, but nevertheless, I got you next week, okay? <laughs> I'm going to make sure that my footage is all intact and safe and sound. So I'm gonna move on to Costco. Okay, guys, here is my Costco haul. It's a small one, but I'm going to start from left to right, and the prices will also be down in the lower left-hand corner. Okay, so let's start from left to right. So I picked up uh, the Kirkland Signature four-pack cheese pizza. Me and the little lady love these, and they make a fabulous meal um, on Fridays or like a movie night. Throw a little side salad in um, with it and you're good to go for a nice meal. I also picked up the Kirkland Signature Farm Raised Raw Tail Off Shrimp. And this is the 31 to 40 shrimp per pound. And they're pretty small. They're not big at all. You can kind of see here how uh, big, they're like schmediums, but that's enough for the little lady. She likes those. I also picked up two bags of the, um, Kirkland Signature Farm Raised Atlantic Salmon. These are um, my favorite by far. I'm not crazy about, well, I like them better than BJ's Salmon because I was on BJ Salmon first. And then when I started buying this one, I found out that I really do like uh, Kirkland Signature better than the BJ's. I have not tried Sam's yet, but I will probably buy one bag just to try it out to see how I like it. I also picked up two bags of the Kirkland Signature Wild Caught Atlantic Cod. These are really yummy as well. They make really great meals. Then I picked up a um, eight pound family size bag of the Orida Golden Crinkle French Fries. So we go through them not too fast, but we have been with our, you know, once a week doing fish and chips. Daddy will, the, the hubby, he will um, fry up some cod and we'll have some french fries with them. So that that's a good meal as well. I also picked up a four pack of the Kirk, Kirkland Signature Unsalted Sweet Cream Butter for my baking and such. Then these Go-Gurt Simples were on sale. You get 32 in a box. And it's strawberry and mixed berry. They were under $5. So I said, I can't pass that up. School is starting and the little lady and I do like to eat yogurt. She's going to be starting to eat it again with her fresh fruit and with her oatmeal and such. So I wanted to have those on hand for her. I also picked up one of my old staples, my Kirkland Signature Organic Chicken Stock. I always try to pick up a box when I go. That's just a staple of mine. I also um, picked up this Kirkland um, Signature Chopped Onions. Now, they had the granulated onions um, there, but I didn't feel like paying the price. This was $3 and something cents. I figured I'm going to put this in my spice chopper, roll this up, and make my own granulated onions. So, how about that? And then I also picked up the Kirkland Signature Sunny Sweet Chocolate Chips. I do like these. These are really good. 
Um, I think Ghirardelli and I think Guitard are the my best or my favorites, but um, I do really, really like the semi-sweet chocolate chips from Kirkland Signature. I also picked up the um, microwave popcorn from Kirkland Signature. 44 bags in here. The movie theater butter flavor is really good. Now, I do know that it's not the healthiest, but we don't eat these, I would say, not even once a week. We're going through them at a slower pace, so um, I'm not too worried about the health um indication of um eating microwave popcorn but i know it you know the air popped popcorn is the best kind but we don't go through these enough for me to really be too concerned about them so i picked up another one we have about 20 bags left of the other ones and i bought those like months and months ago you guys probably can go into my archives and see how long ago that was <laughs> and then i also picked up these walnuts the kirkland signature walnuts they had them on sale today so fall is coming i've been doing a lot of baking again so i figured let me go ahead and pick up a sack of walnuts because i will be making different types of breads and, and cakes and things they also had the six pack ghirardelli triple chocolate brownie mix and you get six in here and it's under twelve dollars so you can't really beat that honestly you go to the supermarket and you're paying almost six dollars for one box of Ghirardelli or at least two packs so it was worth it so then I also picked up uh two two packs of this guava nectar now this is new to me I've not seen these before unless I just have not been paying attention but um they did not have my mango nectar at all it was just completely out they didn't even have a box there so i don't know if they're stopping the rotation of them or they just didn't get their shipment in or not but these were also on sale and i don't know if they were on sale but they were at a good price so i figured let me go ahead and pick up two of these so i have four bottles now for my smoothies when i go through my various um juices that i want to add switch up my flavors and things for my smoothies and things and then the last thing that I purchased was the 36 rolls of the Scott's toilet tissue. Now, they had plenty of toilet tissue. All, all the brands, I believe, were um, present there. What they did not have was my paper towels. And I should have went ahead and followed my first mind and picked them up at Sam's when I saw them. But I said, no, I'm going to pick them up at Costco or BJ. So shame on me. So I'll have to try to pick them up from um, BJ's when I go. I'm gonna try to also include my BJ's haul in this video. If I don't, I will definitely include it in my next week's haul. So this is it guys. This is my small Costco haul. And um, it was looking pretty okay in there. It wasn't too, too scarce, but the paper towels were non-existent and a couple of other things were non-existent. So, um, you know, go ahead and finish stocking up. Do your shopping if you can for the fall. Try to get as much as you can for the fall and plan ahead because um, it's not looking like we're going to come out of this anytime soon, guys. So don't let up. Keep, keep at it. Stay prudent and keep chipping away at preparing yourself and your household for the fall and winter.
as a child of about four or five years old we lived on um, Shawswood Street in Philly and my mother's house my mother and grandma's house um, had a basement that had cabinetry and shelves and they were stacked from floor to ceiling almost with food storage so um, food storage is not new to me at all it really isn't new to even the African-American community. We um, would always preserve and put some type of food away for hard times because we knew about hard times. So um, just preserving your food so it will last and endure months to sometimes even years is always smart. Joseph in the Bible, he um, put up food enough for I think it was 14 years the seven years of plenty and the seven years of famine they started planning in the years of plenty okay so um, it's nothing new it's nothing new under the sun honestly so just um, you know taking inventory of what your family the staples that you know you will always use that won't go to waste is always a smart thing to just go ahead and buy a little bit of extra and then preserve it if you can in a way where it will last you and be ready to use when you do need it if you don't have to tap into it right away you know it'll be there next year or the year after that that's always a um a great thing to implement in your your life and in your family's life but yes so food storage was always a part of my life as a, a child and I remember going even down south and seeing all of the, um, the the jar, the glass jars, like the cannings and the pretty jars filled with asparagus and carrots and string beans and sugar snap peas and peaches and all kinds of goodies that they would have on their shelves and even in like little shacks. So um, yeah, so food storage and planning is not new. Thank you. 
Okay, so after I emptied the two bags of rice into my um, container and mylar bag, I'm going to go ahead and push out as much air as I can. And now I'm getting ready to open my mylar bags that I ordered as well off of Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I have a glass container that I'm going to put the um, extra oxygen absorbers that I'm not going to use. I don't want them to be out too long because they will just start to absorb the oxygen. So you want to get them in an airtight space as quickly as you can. And the best, one of the best methods that I've learned, I believe, um, off of one of the a YouTube personalities channel, I think it was either Alaskan Prepper or one of the other ladies, Alaskan Prepper or, um, I can't remember the name, but they they uh, store their extra oxygen absorbers in glass jars. So now here I am, I'm using just a flat iron to seal off my mylar bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm sealing it all the way, almost to the end. I'm leaving about two to three inches open so I can pop my oxygen absorbers inside and then I'm going to press out as much air as I can and then finish sealing off my mylar bag and you'll see me do this in a few seconds. Thank you. 